Already a year has passed since Korea introduced a special law to help fight corruption at several key sectors, including the government and media. While some welcomed the move, many fear limiting prices of gifts and meals puts too much pressure on a lot of businesses. According to our Kim mo the debate still rages on as to whether it does more harm than good. The anti graft law, often dubbed the Kim Yong-nan law after its initiator, former Anti-Corruption and Civil Rights Commission Chief Kim Yong-nan, took effect on September 28 last year. The law caps the value of meals, gifts and congratulatory or condolences money given to government officials, journalists and teachers, with meals capped at 30,000 won or 26 U.S. dollars, gifts at 50,000 won or 44 U.S. dollars, and money for special occasions capped at 100,000 won or 88 U.S. dollars. Even though a year has passed, there is still debate over whether the law should be continued or revised. Industry experts say the Anti-Corruption Act brought positive changes in making the society more transparent as businesses spent less money entertaining clients. The results of our research showed that the number of companies that saw quarterly increases in their reception fees dropped from 52 percent before the law was passed to 36 percent after the law was enforced. But in terms of the economy, workers in the agriculture, fishing and flower industries have experienced a large drop in sales and want to see the law revised. As a result, the Anti-Corruption and Civil Rights Commission held a debate session on Tuesday to review the past year and discuss the future direction of the law. The commission said that as requested by President Moon, it will review the arguments from both sides and release an overall analysis of the anti graft law to the public by the end of the year to decide if there is a need for a constitutional revision. Kim Mo-gyan, Arirang News.